Reading from the book of Genesis, God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters, and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the sea. Let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have domination over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, in the divine image he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed bearing plant from all the earth, and every tree that had seed bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land and the air and birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it the rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and earth and their creation. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Responsorial Psalm. Our Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you had set in place. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? <laughs> you have made him little <coughs> the angel, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. <laughs> All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the air, birds of the air, and fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas.
cannot eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes question him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses says, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have and had for me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your human tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We have uh, come, and I'd like to send your attention, those of you that were here for the readings, those of you that weren't, don't worry about it because you won't get it anyway. Uh, God blessed the seventh day, made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done. All the work he had done. That's an important thing that we have lost today. The idea of resting, the idea of leisure, leisure. Leisure is related to the word liberty. You have the freedom to rest. We're all so frenetic today, running to work, doing work, and more and more, and I'm going to say something you're not going to like, but don't tell me about it, because I don't want to hear it. Uh, more and more women are working, 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 working. And I understand, look, <laughs> uh, that there are single mothers. There, there's all this kind of stuff, and they have to work. Because they have bills to pay, they have to feed their children and all that. I get all that. I get all that. So don't tell me about that. Do not. Because it's not going to go well. Uh, and what I'm saying is we have more and more people today working. Many fathers work well beyond 40 hours. And my question is, what happens to your family? What happens to your children? What happens to your wife? What, what happens to them? Uh, because I, I, I gotta get, I, I gotta work. Working sometimes 50, 60 hours or more even. But what happens to the home? Uh, leisure is a very important thing. On Sunday, we used to have what was called, because I'm, I'm, I'm so old, I remember these kind of things, okay, I'm all been broken down. Um, a lot of you are too, frankly. <laughs> We're not gonna get into that, because we're over there, 
and, and they're going to be open at 8 15 so uh, just stay in your seat um, we used to have what was called sunday laws or the blue laws businesses weren't open now i think and i may be wrong and i'm sure i'll be corrected but uh chick-fil-a that i have loved for years and i bought them in protest over these idiots who were uh, going on about boycotting chick-fil-a hmm. yeah we'll go eat a cop uh, 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 chick-fil-a closes on sunday if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong but i, I think that's the case this nice lady here I'm not embarrassing you. This nice lady right here is is nodding uh, in, in agreement, and, and I think that they close uh, so that the employees, the people that work there, they can have time at home with their family, but also time at home to worship Almighty God. Because our reading from Genesis says, God rested and made holy the seventh day. And as Catholics and as Christians, and they are the same, by the way, contrary to what some However, some people act, but uh, they're not, not all Catholics act as Christians. I being one of them, but anyway. Uh, uh, we, we worship Almighty God because it is the day of the resurrection. Christ rose on that day. Christ rose from the dead. That's why we have Easter Sunday. He rose from the dead. And I think it's important, just me speaking, that we take time to rest. We take time for leisure. We take time to do the other things of life. Uh, and not just work, work, work. Work is important, don't get me wrong. I'm all for work. That's why St. Martha is a saint. But at the same time, your whole life can't be absorbed in just work. It's not in what you do, as Pope John Paul II uh, said. It's not only in doing, it's in being. You're a human person. And the crown of God's creation is the creation of the human person. The laborer is always more important than the labor. You are not the product. You are not the product. Please don't do that because you're turning yourself into an object. It is you as a person made in the image and likeness of Almighty God with an immortal soul. And I think it's really important that you take that time to be, you say, well, I don't have a family. Well, you have a, you have a spiritual family like it or not, you do. And you take time to be with those who are important to you, whoever they are. I, I, have, I have no idea. But those people that are important to you, you take time to be with them. Why? Because you are a unique, precious gift to them. God does not make people like Xerox copies of something. 
You are unique. And you bring to the world every day what only you can bring. Who else is going to do that? I have no idea because the answer is nobody. And if you can bring yourself and present yourself and one of the most precious things we have because it's finite, it's not infinite, not here on earth, is our time. Is our time. And to spend your time with someone, to listen, to talk, to share, <laughs> uh, what, whatever it is, who else can bring what you can bring? I'll give you the answer. Nobody. Because you are you. And nobody else is you. And what a precious gift. And, 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 and to take time away from being busy. Busy, busy, busy. Work, work, work. Treat yourself to leisure time. Treat yourself to communing with Almighty God. If it's in your room, your house, wherever you are, do that. And treat yourself, treat yourself to being present to those whom you really care about. You really care about. Uh, I'm going to end on this, so hang with me. Uh, there's so many people who work at recreation. Think about the word. Think about the word, please. Please. Recreation. Recreation. That's what the word is. Recreation. We are called in our leisure, in our moments of prayer, our moments of communion with God, to be recreated, recreated. Uh, and that's, that's in line with Scripture. That's in line with the book of Genesis, which we just read. The first supreme and greatest work of Almighty God. And God blessed the seventh day, made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Almighty God did that. Can we do any less? Can we do any less for ourselves? Value important things. Work, yes. Oh, very much so. Oh, I'm for that. But treat yourself, please, every week to that recreation, that recreation, which allows you to pray to contemplate the things of God and to be with those people who are important to you and let them know that they are important to you. And you will be not only recreating, you will be recreated in the very ways of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please stand for prayer.